to say thank you for all the condolences. Um, it's been appreciated and made it easier. Now for something, again, not surprisingly, uh, there's, oh, I'll just cut to it and we'll go into it. So I did a video a couple of days ago telling you how the councils and government are planning to get you off the roads. You're not going to be allowed to travel on the roads. Well, this, I'll put a link in here and I'll probably put it up on screen anyway. This is an update, this is from Sheffield Council. Now what they're doing, what they've already done, is similar to what they do in Westminster. What they've decided, you go, I'll read it out. 31st of August 2017, uh, new guidance from health experts at the National Institute of Health and Care Excellence, NICE, catchy name, yeah, of course it is, suggests that those who, suffer, who are very sensitive to harm from air pollution should be protected from the effects of air pollution. This may include the creation and or enforcement, there's always an enforcement there, isn't there, uh, of bylaws asking people to switch their engines off, for example, when dropping off or picking and picking up children outside schools. This is called no vehicle idling and could extend to a number of um, actions across the city and a number of vehicles including private vehicles, buses including school buses, taxis, public vi service vehicles and private private fleets. Since July 2017 traffic marshals in Westminster City Council have issued on-the-spot fines for those idling in no idling zones. Told you they were going to stop you driving. Um, the highway code, blah blah blah, upset, all it says. However, if Sheffield City Council were to undertake enforcement and issue fines, we would need to prog uh, progress a local bylaw. This consultation asks your your views on whether uh, Sheffield City Council should introduce and enforce new bylaws as suggested by Nice for no vehicle gliding outside Sheffield schools, hospitals, care homes and other locations within Sheffield. The consultation also asks whether education or enforcement approaches, fines, should be used. There will be further public consultation even where you can give more detailed comments and you can give comments on air quality at any time by emailing some bullshit Sheffield Council thing. They're going to bring this in, they're going to say 51% voted for it, 49% voted against it. They did that in, in Nottingham, uh, another council saying when they were selling the council houses off and I spoke to everyone that I could, that I knew uh, was a, a council tenant and they every single one said they voted not to be sold off because it's obvious if you get sold off you're going to get worse, worse service just like gas, electric, water, you get worse services, it's been privatised. This has been planned for a long time. Now, the, it's implemented in West Westminster. They're going to do it in Sheffield, regardless of what you vote. They'll, they'll be taken up all over the country, especially in this, the Nottingham criminal cartel. Um, and I said this was coming. There's more stuff coming as well, a lot more stuff, until you stand up and say, no, we're not having this from you bunch of criminals. In fact, we should be locking them all up. <laughs> 